What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Airport CEO. Let's try this episode number two and we're picking up right where we left off. That little red dot is me, that's what I figured out last episode. Uh, so far we've got a pretty good foundation for the uh, the terminal that we want to set up. Um, we just need to get a little bit further and set up some actual uh, gates and that sort of thing. So uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to, uh, the, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the actual airport. So we're going to start with a couple of taxi areas or a couple of plane uh, stands and we're going to be using the small size ones rather than the medium size where medium size are gigantic like that we're going to be using the small size ones because we don't have that much space on our terminal so we're, we're going to be using the i like this kind of tarmac look so i'm going to be using that um it, it's asphalt i guess but yeah i think it looks pretty good uh, and i want to set these up oh i don't know how we want to set these up hmm because okay so here's i mean you can't really see it because of cost uh, but you see right under the word cost is actually a little road and that road is for uh is for um whatchamacallit's vehicles to be driving through like uh like you know um fuel, refuel vehicles and that sort of thing so i don't really know how we want to do it but i think we're just going to do something simple like this uh well actually hang on hang on hang on back up back it up back it up Beep. oops Beep. there we go uh I want to add a little bit more to this terminal. I think we need a little bit more room on this side if we want to have the planes there. Actually, oh, an idea. Let's have the planes right here. Why not? That's not a bad idea. Let's just put the planes right there. This right there. Oh, that's a good idea. I was going to have them up here, but that's we don't really have that much room. So I think putting them right here is a great idea. Let's put, And then we can also have like a little road. Oh, we don't have very much room down here. Oh, man. If I had to redo it again, that's probably what I would do. Uh, add more room down here so we can have another road coming through like a service road but i think it's gonna be fine i think we'll be okay okay so we have four stands currently uh let's create some taxiway as well so these are our aircraft stands and this little red marker shows us where our taxiway needs to be so let's go ahead and make a taxiway as well we're gonna be using the same uh sort of material and i like to go uh five for the taxiway so make it a pretty big taxiway uh like that yeah that's gonna be our taxiway uh, for now, we're gonna leave some room here in case we want to do stuff. So we're gonna bring our taxiway kind of all the way out this way uh, Where our runways are gonna be kind of way back here just in case we want to do stuff um, Right there and we might also add some like smaller craft stuff just so we can make some money that way But uh, but yeah, okay, so we've got those guys working on that. Let's build our first runway We're gonna build a small runway um, And it's gonna look it's gonna look like grass at first. Oops. Sorry, the Q and the E buttons actually turn your monitor or turn your screens, which which is really weird. And then the R button is how you rotate stuff. So it's, it's super weird. But uh, yeah, let's do this. We're going to run with two runways all the way on the edge right here. So runway number one is going to go right there. Runway number two, we're going to have it the opposite way for some reason. And we're going to have it pretty far away. Now, the reason I don't put them right there is because you actually have to have room to taxi in between them. So we're going to, to give it some space. Actually, let me let me set up this first real quick. So we're going to we're going to need this right here, the runway head or, or the, the, the entrance. We're going to set one up on the other side as well. And then we're going to need that much space right there as well. So we need our runway to be kind of down here a little bit. Uh, let's set it up right there is that per that might be perfect hey one more no no that that's good right there that's where we want it okay so let's set this one up uh, right here so these are the entrances and exits again oops actually switched to something weird all right entrance right there entrance right here we'll have an exit right here and an exit right here awesome now that we have our two runways and we're running two runways because we want to have a lot of different planes so uh we have four planes currently but eventually we'll have more so we are setting the the uh the stage for those runways <laughs> so let's go ahead and set up some more taxiway as well because we are going to need it using this quality right here we're going to build a five there we go 79 by five and there we go so that's right there are two runways our taxiways and our aircraft stations now once we have all that stuff set uh all that stuff set up which uh, might take a while. All of our people are running around. You can see the little dots running around over there. Then uh, we will be able to actually move forward. Now, we've spent currently a million dollars on this airport. And I think usually airports cost a lot more than that. But uh, currently, we've spent about a million dollars. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do on this end, we'll, we'll deal with this stuff later. We just need them to actually build everything. So uh, we do need to wait a little bit. But the first thing we're going to do on this end of things is we are going to uh, set up a wall like this we're gonna do something like 
this. We're going to make a little area. Uh, actually, we're, we're going to hold off on the area for now. But we're going to pretend that there's an area right there. That we're going to have like kind of a small... The reason we're holding off on the area is because we need to go through security here. And we need to set up these, uh, these things right... Or where are they? These things right here. Secure exits. But we can't set these up without making a secure area. So let's make our secure area. So all this is going to be secure. And this little area is going to be not secure. How about that? So all this is going to be secure. Like that. And that's going to be secure as well. So essentially this means that you can't get into uh, this area right here without going through a security checkpoint first. Let's create these things right here. So essentially these little things are like little hallways that get you from a secure zone to a non-secure zone. So we're going to build one right here. We're going to build one. We're going to build one in front of each thing because this is where our gates are going to be. So we're going to build one right there. We're going to build one right here. And they're one way, so you can't enter uh, back through it. And I hope that looks even enough. I think it is. Uh, and now we're going to create our wall. So this is why I was holding off on the wall here because I wanted to actually uh, build these first. Uh, so we're going to have a wall in between all these things right here so people can't re-enter or re yeah do stuff okay so right there now we're going to have another one to get back in now i don't know i guess because <clears throat> here's the thing when you land on so i don't know how to get back into a secure area like i don't know if we have to set up another security checkpoint to get back in because when you land uh initially from a uh you know from, from a regional flight you don't have to go through security again to get back into the airport you just get in so i don't know if we can do like a a security exit to go in I don't think we can so I, I'm not entirely sure how 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 they do that or how we do that rather um, we could do well I mean we could just bring them out of the airport which is kind of annoying because it means in order for them to get back in they'd have to run all the way through again which is yeah that's super annoying oh I think we're gonna have to be annoying though because I think the game mechanics are going to make us do that so we're gonna do this and we're going to have uh, we're going to have this be a non-secure area right here. So uh, where's our security? Right there. So use control, by the way, if you guys are playing this game uh, and you want to know how to do this. Use control to uh, to, to drag out a non-secure, to undrag a zone, which is something that uh, I, th I think it was actually taught in the, uh, in the tutorial, but I don't remember. So we're going to add a, a little door right here. Can we add a, uh, a large door? Yes, we can. Awesome. So we're going to add large doors here so people can get off of the airplane, they can come through here, and then unfortunately they're going to have to go through security again. I feel for them. I really do. Uh, I, I really wish this didn't have to be the case, but it does seem like that is going to be how uh, we're going to be forced to play this, is that they're going to have to come back straight through security. Uh, let's set up some doors so that they can get from the, the tarmac out here to the, uh, to the actual airport. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be using our large doors. I just really like the look of large doors. Uh, supposedly you can put vehicles through them. If you look at this, a large door that opens for people and vehicles. Isn't that crazy? So I don't know, uh, like, what kind of vehicles are in the game? I don't know. I haven't gotten really gotten that far. Uh, but we're going to do a door right in front of each of these things. So a door right there, a door right there, a door right there, and door right there. Awesome. That's looking pretty good. We almost have everything set up. And in fact, the runways are done. Can we actually upgrade these to the to the better? Upgrade these to asphalt. It's going to cost 60000 but it might be worth it. On second thought, we're low on money. Let's not do it quite yet, even though it looks like super weird right now. Um, but uh, we're not going to do it quite yet. Okay, we need to actually set up the taxiway as our next step here. So we need to set up the taxiing uh, directions and stuff. So you guys already taxi towards each other, so that's good. Uh, now we'll set up a taxi this way. And we'll set up a taxi this way over to here. And then we'll set up a taxi going towards each of these little things right here. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. So now all of these things are connected. Um, we're, we're, we're half of our money is down, but we've almost got the full airport set up. Or we've almost got most of the, uh, of the setup done. Uh, even though we're going to have a lot of empty space here. <laughs> but uh, we, have, we almost have everything done. Um, so let's do... What do we need next? Boarding desks, right. Uh, actually, no. We need an ATC tower. Let's do a, a large. Enables you to extend regulation uh, of traffic around your airport. A basic one enables regulation of traffic. Okay, we're going to do a basic ATC, and the ATC is going to be kind of over here. Yeah, let's put the ATC right there. Just a nice little control tower that people can, you know, go to and stuff. I don't know if we have to hire ATC. I guess we probably do. 
I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that's looking pretty good so far. What do we need next for our place? Oh, yeah, boarding desks. Right. So we're going to build some desks, and we're going to go for boarding. These ones are kind of huge. <laughs> Oops. There we go. There we go. Bring it back to the original thing. So we're going to have our boarding desk be on the right side of these things. So kind of like this. Put this one yeah, kind of that far away. But on the right side, uh, like that. That and that. Awesome. Oh, no, this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Demolish. I don't want them to build it in time because I need to... It, it needs to be the same at the same area for all of them. It doesn't actually need to be, but it like it should be, just so it's nice. Awesome. That's looking pretty good. So they're going to be setting up the boarding desk. And we can actually... Uh, I don't know if we make queues for this, but these should automatically link to the plane. Um, the boarding desk. Why are you not connected to a stand? You should be... Oh, because it's not active, I guess. All right. Well, let's go ahead and activate this. We're going to set this up for commercial flights. I need an attached boarding desk. Can I turn you on? Can I connect stand? There we go. Now it's connected. Awesome. So now we can, boom. There we go. We're gonna have to manually connect this. And the in the playthrough that I did uh, on my own, I actually it actually automatically connected, which was super awesome. But I guess these might be a little bit too far away to automatic automatically connect. So let's, boom, boom, and we're just essentially just turning on the uh, the areas. Okay, cool. That's looking pretty good. Let's add some seating as well, just so that we can get some, uh, you know, some of that some of that default airplane seating or the the default uh, <laughs> seating for um, for planes. We're gonna get that seating right there, maybe right there, right there. We will get four per, I guess. Maybe like this. I, I want it to be on like I want it to be even, like for all of them. I don't know if we can get it that way, but it would be really cool if we could. Four, we have one, two, three, four, and we'll do one more right here. Uh, one, two, three, and four. These guys are going to be lucky because they're going to have some nice windows they can look out. Uh, these guys, unfortunately, won't be able to look out any windows because there's nothing really to see on this side. You're, you're just going to see this kind of uh, secondary weight. What's this? Some little gaps. I can't help but notice that those little gaps exist, and I don't really know why. Let's uh, make sure that those gaps are filled. It's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> and it seems like they're in front of each of the um, the boarding things. So maybe that was the default boarding area. I don't know. But I'm patching those up because I want these to be the, the, the ones that are used uh, so that they come through the, uh, the door. Okay. I think we almost have everything set up. It's time to hire some staff. Or, well, at least let, let's turn this on first. Let's turn on the runway. Um, open the runway. We're going to open this runway as well. We're going to go ahead and open our airport as well in operations. Airport opened. We're not going to allow general aviation right now because that's those small planes. Uh, we don't really want those quite yet. Ramp agent service. You need at least two ramp agents. Okay, so we'll, we'll need ramp agents for the uh, for the baggage. And we're going to need to connect this somehow as well. But uh, So for now, we won't do that. But uh, we'll maybe do that next episode because we need to set up fuel and ramp. Uh, so that we can have, have people doing that stuff 24-7 so our planes get fueled and they get also the baggage. Uh, let's start hiring a couple people because we need some people to run this thing. How many are we going to need? So for security, we're going to need 4, 8, uh, 6, uh, 4, 8, 12, 13. We're going to need four, uh, 13 security. So let's go for applicants and we're going to go for security. Security. We're going to, I think we might just hire all of them. Even though like stress, what, what's important for security? Logic is probably important and stress Service is always important. Let's hire this guy. Let's hire... I guess we'll hire all of them. Three, four, five. Let's wait a few seconds. <coughs> if I filter by security again, maybe we have more. Uh, oh, man, you're good. I like you. One, two, five, six, seven. We need... Uh, we need what? Six more. Eight. <laughs> we need to hire a lot of people. Going on a big hiring spree. Nine. How many people are usually employed at an airport? I wonder. Hundreds. Must be hundreds. Ten. Eleven. Two more. <laughs> Two more and we're good. And then we're going to have to do the other ones as well. Twelve. One more. Did we hire too many people, I wonder? Thirteen. Hurrah! We got everyone hired. Okay, next we need to get some boarding people. We need one, two, three, four. So let's go for 
airport staff. I think it's general airport staff. Oh, I like you. Look at that. One. We're gonna definitely getting you two. I like you. Uh, mm, you probably need some technical skill, honestly. You also you also need stress management. These are these three are probably the the most important. All of them are important, really. Let's go all and then airport staff again. Do we have? Some, oh, three. One more. Hmm. I could hire you. You're cheap. You're really. You guys are all cheap. Dang. Let's go for one more airport staff. Oh, they're none of them are good. Oh my god. Oh, you're 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 decent. You have pretty bad technical skill though, but I'll hire you. Uh, so that's four total that we needed. Next, we need some uh, baggage. So we're gonna need some ramp agents. Let's get four of these guys as well. Maybe one for each plane. Um, you don't need technical skill for this. I'm gonna hire you. Uh, you don't need technical skill. But you're you're annoying. So pretty, that's the annoyingness factor. If it's low, they're annoying. Uh, I'll hire you. We need three more. You're really cheap. I'll hire you. Why not? Uh, four. Awesome. We've got everyone there hired. So I think we have everyone hired at this point. Who else might we need? A janitor. Uh, we don't have any janitorial stuff quite yet. Service technicians. That would be pretty important at some point. But for now, I think that's going to be fine. Okay. We should have everybody hired. And we should have everything set up. Let's see if... What does that mean? Zzz. I don't know what this means. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get this airport actually up and running. And if we can get it up and running this episode, that'll be pretty awesome. There should only be like one or two more in the let's try so uh <laughs> it'd be nice to get things set up at some point i think um but this is going pretty well i think it's going really well we've we've almost got a fully functioning airport let's go ahead and see since we're kind of running out of money here let's go ahead and see if we can start getting people here uh look at all these spam mail annoying uh let's go to what do we need to do we need to go to economy uh we need to go to offered contracts and we need to get some actual people so let's get uh, what, what sounds awesome? Forest Air, CLM, Goose Wings. Let's get Goose Wings. Um, I don't think the contracts mean anything other than that they can actually fly to you. It focuses cheaper flight than its parent company at mediocre price range in medium haul. Its name comes from Wild Geese. Mm, so it's cheaper, kind of cheaper air flights. Uh, I guess that's fine because we're kind of a small place. Skyfly, what about you? Uh, experience strong growth, blah, 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 professional safety. I like it. Uh, I mean, is this going to tell me how they're going to, how they're going to work with our company? Let's just get two for now. Or we can even get three, I guess would be fine. Let's, let's get, uh, that's a builder construct, a builder thing. They might actually have better stuff. They have 80 people for $7 and I think that's better than what we have. What's our current contract? Uh, we have 59 for 7.9. So we could get better people like that costs less. How much does it cost to cancel cancellation fees? <laughs> I don't know how much it costs to cancel, but there are fees, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. And won't tell me. I don't know when it expires either. I guess it'll expire after year one, which I can see that right there. We're in day five, year one. Oh god. Do we have to go through day three sixty five? Jesus. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, well we've got two flights. Let's go to our flight planner, which is pressing F, and we can uh, we have one flight here. Warning, no compatible commercial stand found. Make sure there's an operational stand. Oh, what do I need for that? Commercial stand. You guys are all set to commercial. Um, do I need a stand upgrade? No, you guys are all good. You guys are all commercial stands. Um, security checkpoint connection missing. Cannot transfer passengers. Uh, you should have a connection to security. Do I have to link that? Connect service car. Connect baggage bay, uh, demolish stand, connect service car. Hmm. Okay, what this problem seems like, it says there's no security connection. Could it be because they can actually get through here? What if I, uh, yeah, it could be because they can actually just walk onto the plane. Uh, so maybe I need to have some sort of security checkpoint here, which would be super weird. Once again, that's a really weird thing to, to ask for. But I guess maybe it makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, we could do... Let's do it right here. Just a little security checkpoint. Um, and then you have to come out this way. Because why not? It's, it, I mean, it's, it's super weird. But you know what? If, if that's what's going to make it work, let's do it. We're going to have that right there. Then we're going to have maybe a little wall piece so that they can't just walk around it. 
There we go. And then finally, we're going to have another one of those good old, uh, good old things that allow you out of security. One of these things. There we go. Is that what you need? Is was that was that why you're being weird? Airports, air, air things. Okay, welcome back. I don't know what I did, but uh, it is allowing me to schedule flights now, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and schedule some flights uh, for Saturday, I guess, in the morning. So we're going to schedule this one. This is a, uh, a one-time flight. We're going to schedule this for uh, 6 a.m. I'm sorry, guys, who are on this flight, but you guys are flying at 6 a.m. Then we're going to schedule this next one, which uh, this one is actually a three-time flight, which means it's going to happen on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. We're going to schedule this one for 10 how come we're only able to schedule one small stand? Which small stand are we scheduling for? Oh, we're only able... How come... Okay, what? How come you got... I don't understand. What is what is happening? How come you guys are not connecting to that, but you are connecting to that? I don't think I can, like... You're connecting... Yeah, you guys are connecting to all of them, but you, for some reason, don't see that. I, that's so weird. Security connection missing, but security connection is fine for this one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look into this a little bit, but for now, let's actually schedule these flights and get these things going. Uh, we're going to schedule this one for Saturday as well. We'll schedule this one. It's just a one-time flight. We'll schedule this at uh, 14, which is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And these are giving us this amount of money. So they are giving us quite a bit of money here. And once we have four going at a time, things are going to get a little bit faster. We'll start making some actual money. Um... Well, I think that's going to actually, you know what? In, I was going to end the episode there, but instead, you know, let's let's add some floors. Let's make this area nice. Uh, now, floor-wise, they're all the same price. Even though you've got high quality, medium quality, and low quality, they all cost one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use, I think for this area right here, we're going to use marble. Some nice floor. Uh, some nice marble flooring. We're going to use that right there to make it uh, to make it look very, very nice. We'll use it in the back as well, but we might change what it looks like in the back uh, eventually. Um, for this kind of back area, we're gonna—I think—we're gonna use marble as well, since this is kind of the main main uh, uh, plaza area. So we're gonna use marble here, and we'll use it along the side right there where the doors are as well, uh, as well as right here. Next, we're gonna make the—and uh, let's let's slow down time. Here. Let's actually pause time since we're not doing much. Um, next, we're gonna make this area, which I think we can probably give a nice—I think a nice blue would work nice. Well, no, that that might clash with the security uniforms. So maybe we'll do a, uh, a, a, you know, maybe a, maybe a dark kind of wood or yeah, a dark wood maybe. I think that would look pretty nice. So put it right there and right here. Doesn't that look pretty good? Like a dark wood kind of. And then over here, we're going to have some sort of, uh, I want to do this. It's going to look a little weird, but I want to do, I want to have the main floor be, be this nice. Well, what do we have? The main floor, I want to have this nice kind of. Uh, matte look so I do I do like this one right here so we're gonna go all the way uh, through with this and then we're going to uh, we're gonna repaint over that to make it look nicer as well so this is gonna be our main floor and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint over it a little bit with uh, with marble so we're gonna have these this little marble pathway going about right there before all the way down here like that so you're going to kind of go onto this main pathway, which is going to bring you through the terminals and that sort of thing. Uh, so this is going to bring you this way. And I think we're going to have it go like that all the way down. There we go. That's looking pretty nice, I think. Uh, this right here as well could could connect to that. Well, maybe not since this is a kind of a passenger or a, a uh, whatchamacallit, uh, only for employees. So... Yeah, only employees will go there. And in fact, I'm, uh, we, we will eventually have to make an employee room and, you know, like a, a baggage area and gas and, and bathrooms and stuff. But I think that can wait until next episode. At least in this episode, we have airplanes going. <coughs> and even though you can't see them, actually, let's let's speed up time real quick. We can fast forward to the next day and let time go super fast, I guess, while, while we're watching on this screen. Um I want to get at least one airplane going, just as a proof of concept, so that we know that we have airplanes going. There's our there's our scam coming in right there. Little little annoying scam. Likes to unfast forward. Oh, I guess it's considered the next day uh, already. So at 6 a.m. is when that thing's going to come in. We already have some passengers coming in, uh, and let's see if we have any passenger problems, which we certainly could. What are you probleming? 
See, you seem like you have a problem right there, but I don't know. Oh, you guys are all of our employees. You guys are all sleeping or something? You're all tired? Oh, here we go. They're, they're now going to check in. I guess they can only check in two hours in advance or something. But here we go. They're going through security. Nice. And they can't find their way. Make the path... Make the path is accessible through walls and zones. Okay, so this is where I had problems earlier, is that I don't really know how to how to make the path accessible. Right? Because there, there, is there like a pathing system that I need to do? Or, ooh, commerce. We can make little shops. That's cool. These are chairs and stuff. Actually, wait. What is, this is the commerce thing? There's no shops here. There's just sofas and stuff. <laughs> it's an alpha. Yeah, so I'll have to look into this a little bit because these guys seem to be trapped now and they don't really know where to go. Uh, and I can't really build a queue on that side to tell them how to get out of there. But all they really need to do is walk over there to get to their boarding counter. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe do, what, do I need to add some sofas here or something? Give them some nice seating. Uh, I don't know. Let's give them some, some uh, medium quality sofa here. Uh, oops. Turn that around. We'll have some nice sofas for, uh, you know, because you need to put your shoes on. Maybe, I guess. So I have a little sofa for each of them. There we go. All those little sofas that will eventually be built. I mean, because because it says they can't find their way, and I have to make sure that the path is accessible. But currently, it does look like the path is accessible. Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have played this game and you know what I've done wrong here. Uh, please let me know in the comments section. But anyways, if you guys like this episode of uh, of Let's Try Airport CEO, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Airport CEO.